Hello game devs, welcome back to my bridge to Final Fight tutorial. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a dialogue free in which you fight. So this tutorial was requested by someone on my previous tutorials as usual. You can also make your tutorial request and place it in the comment section below. Okay, so first of all, or as usual, I'll give you a little preview of what this would look like once we are done. Okay, preview. Okay, so I've tried my best to um, use the events once compared to the original dialogue we had in Chipotle 5. Um, here we go. Welcome to the platform exam in Chipotle 5. Next. I hope this example is useful. So I saw this. Uh, most dialogues use a next button instead of a, a Z. Okay, just open the ball. Okay, so in the example we have in the ball, the ball uses the Z. So I took that into consideration and rather I used a button which I'll be showing how to do. So welcome to the plus point that which I will find. Next I hope this example is useful. Okay. Here we will also we have the slide walk which asks questions. Hello Green. How is your experience in this example? So we have the great and the boring. So it's, it's only great or boring. It goes okay. Okay, so close that up. Um, there we go. Examples, dialogue. Okay. Okay, so if you notice something in which to follow, um, example of this. We had um, our enemy posting ones. The dialogue is complete. Like once it's complete, our enemy no longer moves. But we took and we go. Okay, so I'm showing you how to create um, a dialogue for me, which is from five today. Once open to the world five, um, create a new project, platforming. Okay, in case you're new to Chitval, Chitval is an easy to use. In creator with no programming language to learn. You can download it. The link, um, the link is in the description below. So new scene events. Oh sorry, new scene. We need to edit our scene. So delete. Um, I don't need this. So delete that scene here. Okay, there we go. Delete. Okay. Delete. Okay, so that's adding um the soil. I'll just move this up a bit. Let's say minus five hundred and ninety one. Minus 591 and on the 1, 257. Okay, so now let's add a soil. First of all, we need to take the color of this. So edit object, edit, edit with Pisco. Okay, so here we go, use the pick color picker, select the last color. And copy that control cup cancel apply scroll to the bottom add new objects um text 
sorry one sprite sprite and animation edit with case code so now this that you can fill in your color right here control v then uh, paste or use a paint bucket too and that's it same Make that soil fine. We're going to the scene um, on the X, let's say fan from the Y, um, 485. Um, set of the base there. So let's create a layer for this, add a layer and give you a layer um you on I think that's bottom close and give this the UI layer with eight hundred height um let's say hundred and fifty custom size set X to zero Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now let's go, let's add in um a character which will be named each. So add new object, add a sprite, add an animation, add. Okay, so here we go. Alien age. Hello, E P R G E. Behaviors. Add a behavior. So let's give this a platform character so it falls on the floor. Uncheck default controls. Our player is currently using the default controls. So apply. Place it to the scene and place it. Let's say 209 and 363. Okay, so let's go to our events. Add a new group, and then that here group, and name that um, dialogue or person is three. Now add sub condition, add a condition, beginning of the scene, at the beginning of the scene, add an action. We need to load the dialogue. To load the dialog from a JSON file, you can see this. I'll create a new JSON file. So I'm going to um, create, create, edit the dialog. So here we go. Now you can set the name of this here. Let's say um, dialog. Okay, so now we're there. So this is the name that will be displayed. So this will be our first dialogue with the title start. So from this up. Welcome. Welcome to the that for example in G the load file. Okay now in the second line let's fill in an event um new line that will be I hope this was useful. Okay, so we will be using um, an action to switch between lines. Okay, apply. Okay, so add an empty fence, add a condition, collision, player is in collision with each. Okay, 
plays with collusion. Um, add condition. Three good ones. Three good ones. One, three. Okay, so now we need to use um, an action to start a dialogue from a branch. Here we go. Start a dialogue from a branch. Are you feeling the name of the dialogue branch? As you can see. We'll go there real quick. Edit. Create a new project. So this is the name of our dialogue branch. It's called start. You can change that right here. So you can change the name. So just hit the add. Start. Apply. So now we need to fill in start right here. So once I place the collision page, it starts the dialogue from start. Okay. So let's preview this. There we go. So now it's working, but for this to show um, the text, we would have to modify the text of um, a text object which we will be creating. So close, new scene, add a new object, um, text. So just name this words and just fill in this. So I'm doing this so I can locate my text. Apply. I put this into a scene. Um go in my properties. X position 95 Y position. 524 layer GY. Okay, so let's go to our events and then to events by condition on um, dialogue. So, dialogue line. Um, here we go, download line type. So we have three types. We have the text, we have the options, and we have command. So for this, we will be using the text. So when the download line is um, text, add an action, change the text. Um, okay, right here. I'm going to find the text. Of words, children of prayer, set to value, value dialog, then dialog clip line text. Here we go. Apply. So dialog tree clip line text. Okay. Now add a subcondition, add a condition, final. Go value for same timer. Time in seconds is greater than. Okay, let's give this a name. Name the text school underscore scroll. Okay, time in seconds. Let's use a variable. So variable. Open a bracket. Text underscore okay so variable um open a bracket text underscore scroll underscore speed close the bracket okay so once the final text scroll is greater than the variable text Scroll speed, which we will be creating to get a long line. Um, an action scroll a clip text. Okay, scroll clip text and reset final. Final's name text underscore speed. 
text sorry okay well, add an empty fence add a condition arm key pressed that is any key pressed input condition okay so any key is pressed so we need this to speed our um, our effects scrolling so once any key is pressed add an action sim variable whatever sim variable um, variable text underscore scroll underscore speed which is our creator set to value 0 0.05 okay so preview so here we go the types that are welcome to the platform example in the default file so in order to display our line effects as you can see in our jitbox dialog example the letter z is used Yo. okay so here we go the letter z is used to change um flex scroll speed and also select an option for this tutorial we'll be using um a sprite okay so let's go to our Events, let's add in um, a new object sprite add an animation add okay so there we go objects made next and apply put this into the scene our um, position is about let's say 700 and 700 and let's say about 756 y um, 555 layer GUI okay so now let's go to our events still under the sub condition right here and then to events add condition cursor or fudge is on an object cursor touch is on next add a condition um released Mouse button released left okay and add a condition scrolling you need to check if the clip text has completed scrolling okay so once this um all these conditions are through you need to go to the next dialog line which is the second line we filled in right there Okay, and preview. So here we go. This is the first line. Welcome to the platform example in Jitterbug Now this is the next line. I hope this was useful. Okay, so now we need uh, some events to stop the movement of our player once the um, dialogue is running. As you can see the dialogue is running and our player can uh, keep on moving has the ability to move so to do that um add an empty fence take that out here still under the same group um okay so add a condition dialogue is running is feeling running the dialog is running. Okay. Add a condition. Hitbox is on the floor. Sorry. Floor. And hitbox. That's a platform object. So hitbox is on the floor. Add a condition. We need this to trigger once. So trigger once while through. Add a condition. Activate. A behavior activate a behavior which will be hitbox so we deactivate was you clicked on on um no it deactivates it so add a new uh, add an empty fence add condition 
um, running. Dialog is running. So once the dialog is running, we need our, the animation of our player to um, set to zero. So change the animation of player um, set to zero. So zero is the idle sprite of our player. So preview. There we go. Uh, welcome to the platform example. Which is block five. Next, let's see our player. Um, cannot move anymore. I hope this was useful. Okay. Okay. So now, once the dialog is over, we need events to um, activate the behavior of our player hitbox once again. So, add an empty event. Scroll down. Add a condition. Running. Running invert condition dialog is not running. Um, add a condition. Cursor touch is on next. There we go. Cursor touch is on an object. Next is a button. So dialog is not running. Cursor touch is on next. Our uh, mouse button was released, which is a left. Left mouse button is released at condition thymol. Value for thymol, sorry, sim thymol, thymol second. Um, one. Um, thymol's name, text, underscore, scroll. Okay. So add a condition, three good ones. While through. So once all these events are through, uh, it will trigger once. Add an action, activate a behavior. So it would activate the um, behavior. Sorry, object, hitbox, play hitbox. So it would activate the um, behavior of play hitbox, which is a platform object. Okay. Okay, so now we need to add an um, avatar, so our player, let me just give you a preview of this. There we go, preview. There we go, this is the avatar, as you can see this is the avatar located right here, it's, um, it's good for um, we need to add an avatar so the player of our game knows who is talking. So to do that, we need to add in the avatar sprite. Um, this is very useful. Okay, so new scene. Add a new object sprite. Add an animation. Add. So here we go. Alien page. So this will be located. In the project folder of this example, you can download it. The link is in the description below. You would also get the badge of um, this character. Um, thanks to Kenny. Okay, so open that up and name this avatar. Okay, add an animation in fakeless downwards. Now I'm setting this to my first animation because I don't want my um, I would want this animation to show up once once the dialog is running. We need um, a blank animation, so that's why we set this to so blank animation. And also, since we're having multiple um, avatars, we have to you um, use this to sway. So apply position to the scene. I will position this. Um, X position 17, Y position 515. Same again, layer GY. Okay, so let's go. New some events. Now we need to go all the way to a load dialog data. We need to edit our dialog. Edit. So in order to display this, we need to fill in something. 
Okay, so in order to display avatar, we need to do this um back. You need to fill in the avatar. Okay, so this displays the avatar. Apply. Okay, so we also need an event to set the animation of our um of the avatar depending on which on which enemy is talking so right here um add an empty event add a condition command the command is called command stream now you fill in the exact name you used in your dialogue which is avatar okay so command avatar is called Add an action, set the animation, change the animation of um, avatar, the modification sign, set to value, we need to get a command, okay so Let's take out the count in front right here and fill in a zero parameter. Um okay, so we need to use the change animation binding logo objects avatar of location close down. Okay, so preview. That's not displaying because we need to fill in the name of our avatar. So you need to give your avatar a specific name like each apply. Now we will use this name in our load dialog data from JSON file. Edit. Okay, open this up. Now right in front of this you fill in the exact same name, um same spelling. The name um okay. So page apply okay preview. So there's not right um using I thought edit object. Okay, so our event or our avatar is not shown now because of um okay here okay, we can set animation avatar. Okay, take out the quotation of the code. Okay, now preview. So here we go. Now that is please welcome to the platform example in Java 5 next. I hope this was useful or suppose it is okay so that's how the flex worked um now let's try the options side close that and then to print add a condition um collision so collision player is in collision with object slime walk Okay, go back to new scene. Um, I'll place it right here. Slime walk. This is to go right and go left. So since this is a platform example, we have to um forget to disable the fence that allows the enemy to jump on our player or to follow our player and change the animation of our player. So forget to disable. New scene event. Okay. So here we go. Play is in collision with slime walk. Add an action. Um okay, before we do this, let's create the dialogue. So open the loop dialogue, um, edit. Now 
add a new node. Here we go, node 2. Open this up. Rename. Slime walk. Okay, so we don't have this, so let's fill in avatar first. So open this up. Um, avatar. Space slime. So we don't have this here. Let's just put that to the scene. Apply. Okay. New scene. So the bottom, avatar. Edit objects. Add an animation. Add. Here we go. Okay, now let me get slime. Apply. Now let's return to all dialog. Okay, so hello alpha slime. Now let's put on the text hello green. This is the first line. Enter. How is your experience in this example? I'll close that up. Um, add a new node. Add two new nodes. Here we go. Node three and node four. Now open up this. Add a link to node 3 and node 4. So this is the text to be displayed answer, so we just edit that and set that to okay. Um we go add a new link all over node 3. I'll just set this to green. So that's to set to node 3. Okay, so add a link node 3. Um, this will be the text, so cheap green. And delete this. You don't want this shown. Okay, so we have a great and add a new link node 4. Great and boring. Okay, so this will be the two questions then. I'll rename this. Since this will be on mode four. Boring. Sorry. Rename this boring. And rename this great. Now we have to edit this. So great and edit this. It's boring. Okay, so now let's film for boring. This one's like okay. And add an emoji. Sad. Okay, now for great, do something like um. Okay, then subscribe to the jam tutorials or more. Okay, so apply. And okay, so let's finish the events for our options to work. So if we preview this, it will work. So we need some events. We have a place and collision with slime walk. Start dialog. Um here we go. Start dialog from a branch, branch name. Line walk. Okay. So now add an empty event. 
add a condition dialog line we check the line of our dialog just fill in the line options invert condition so add okay we'll do this let's add in effects which is served for questions add new objects effects questions and same here apply put this into the scene position this at about let's say 98 and 550 layer GUI okay so new scene events dialog line is options the if it is not options, hide the object questions. Okay, so hide object questions, add names events, add a condition. Now once the dialog line is um set the fiber is a question, add an action, show object questions something not right on um, go rename okay now add names events a condition down key is released. Okay, key released. Um, down. Add an action. Um, next option. Go to the next option. So now we're doing a vertical list. That's why we're using down. And also add an empty fence. Add a condition. Um, key pressed. Key pressed um, up, so up key is pressed. Okay, add an action, select next option, and we needed to select the previous option. Okay, so add an empty fence. Okay, this needs to be a sub condition. Okay, now add an empty event. Same here. Um, so we need it to confirm. We need once our play is oh once the crystal touch is on the text, which is the next button, it confirms the selected text. So add a condition crystal or touch is on an object. So touch is on next. Okay, and add a condition released. Mouse button released. Left. Okay, so add an action. Confirm selected. So confirm the selected option. Okay, and now let's link this. Add an action, selected option, changed, add an action, text, okay, modify the text of questions, modification sign, set to, value, vertical, dialog, vertical, so now in this tutorial we will be using vertical but I will also show you the horizontal so this is the option close so in the default example we have something like this huge image or um, we can also use this in this way feeling what you want your closer type to look like you can anything you want depending on how okay so I'll just fill in the plus sign apply 
Okay, so preview. There we go. Welcome to Tough Max Map and Shiny Fight. Hope this was useful. Okay, this is not going to work because we need to um, deactivate our slime up movement once the dialogue is running and also we need to hide some objects so let's do that let's hide our words text once the dialogue is not running and show it once our dialogue is running again so at the beginning of the scene at the beginning of the scene as an action hide words Okay, do the same, hide, next, button, okay, okay, scroll down, right here, add an action, okay, here, add an action, show, so show the text of words, okay, also show, uh, we need it to also show the button next. Okay. So right here, add an action, hide words. Okay, hide words. Also add an action, hide next. Okay, add an action, hide. Um, aviation. I'm um, sorry, other thought. So, here we need to hide. Um, show. Sorry, we need to show the word other thought for the image. Other thought. So, preview. So here you can see it's hidden at first, cohesion, um, okay, so this is not right, close that. So right here, um, copy and paste, we need to show words, okay, so preview. Here we go, cohesion. Welcome to the platform example in Chaval 5. Next, I hope this was useful. Next, it goes out. Same here, cohesion. Okay, so this is all right here. Close. This here, friends. Okay. Okay, so that's not working because okay, yeah, here we go. Step down look for branch slime walk. Um, it's going to our data edit. Okay, yeah, here we go. Made its name and is new to so it's in slime walk. Okay, apply. Okay, and preview. Here we go, welcome. Um, okay. Now we have go Hello Green. Um, Hello Green has experience in this example. Now, before this um, would work properly, we need to deactivate our Skybox movements once the dialogue is running. So here we go. Just add an action, activate a behavior object, slime walk, activate the behavior no. From this event, add an action, activate a behavior, slime walk, no. Okay, preview.
again. Okay, let's make something about five next. Hope this was useful. Um, here we go. So this is not right. Close. Just move this to the top. Um, same here. Okay, here we go. Dialog is not void. Activate subject behavior. Yes. Can, um, I think we missed an event. Mark is start dialog from branch slime walk. Okay, um, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Placing collision with slime walk, start dialog from branch slime walk. Um, okay, we need a trigger once condition here. We don't want this keep on um, running. Okay, breathing. Here we go. Welcome to Platform Exam Pinch Block 5. Next, I hope this is useful. Here we go. Hello, Green. How is experience in this example? Great, boring. So, here we go. Here you choose your experience. And you can just click on next. Okay. So, now for the horizontal, um, let's see something down. Set this to right and left. No, sorry. Set this to D and A. Okay, A for the next option. So now we're trying out the horizontal. So just take this all out, add horizontal. Your cursor type are the same. You can fill in any um, objects you like in flex. So here we go. Um, this is useful. Here we go. This is slime. Hello, green. How is your experience in this example? As you can see, this is the horizontal D A E A. So this switches between um the options here we go once quick and click on next okay so that's how the horizontal works and also the vertical um well so we could also use the bb text which allows us to make our text appear in bold ethnic and also in colors this was added to the um updated version of the yarn editor or of um, the Jitavon dialog example, so let's do that. So add a new object, uh, BB text, object name, I'll just name this words to. Okay, so as you can see, BB text code, we have the B bold, if VIX I size, um, here we go, font, you can set the font right here, spacing, outline, and shadow. So I'll put this into the same and fake out this words and place this and uh, here would be great. Just place this here because we still have our options. We need it and Okay, so now we use some events. So we would have to change this. I'm um, changing the effects of words to words to I go modify text. We need a BB text. Um, Okay, 
okay here we go words okay so modify the bb, the BB code effects of words two and change this to high words two same show words two and here words two so now we need to fill in the code into our dialog edit edit the yarn So right here, okay. So how is experiencing this example now? Let's in the bold. So we open this up. Bracket B. Delete, delete, delete. Okay. So anything in between the tags or the code appear in the selected code. So now this would give our experience. So you need to close it. Oh, so B. So this will make our experience bold effects experience bold. Let's make this athletic. So I close that. This um here we go. Close I. Okay, now let's give this color open color. Then you can select the color right here. Um okay. So there we go, color. Now we fill in this effects example in between this. So any effects that falls in between this um, comes with this color. Yes, you can see how is the experience both um, ethics and um, color. Apply. Okay, and preview. So here we go, we're going to apply from example into volume 5. Next, I hope this is useful. Um, so this not worry. Okay, our questions that is a fact. Okay, so words 2, new set of fans. The dialog data edit. So that will show because our questions text is not um, a BB text. So just move that all the way to this, which is a stop. And here we go, right here. And filling those events. Let's say open up B. The film is same here. We also have it list. Open, close this. And the color. So the color you want right here. And near text. And there. Okay, so apply. Okay, preview. So here we go. Uh, welcome to the platform example which evolved five. Next, I hope this is useful. As you can see, the um, hope color is both useful um, at least. Okay, so that's how it's done. That's how to create the dialog tree. I hope this is useful and this is this helps you or uh, please let me know if this is um, really easy to understand um, okay thank you and you can follow me on Instagram at the gem to to get updates because I post um, upcoming tutorials so you can get more updates on me at the gem okay so thanks for watching um, that's all